What's up gorgeous people? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick video to show you how I took this dress, which clearly did not fit me at all. I bought it at Gabe's. It was $4 and I thought, yes, I love the way that this dress looks and it has potential. So I went ahead and I bought it. And then it sat and it sat and then it sat. And then finally, ah, I was like, okay, I got it. I know what I'm going to do with this dress. So I'm going to show you in the video how I took the dress in and then um, just added some really cute sleeves to it. And that's pretty much all I needed to do to make this dress what I had originally saw it in my head when I was at the um, store. So uh, without further ado, there's really nothing else to say about what I'm doing today. So let's get into the video. Okay guys, I left the materials that you'll need for this DIY in the description, so go ahead and check that out. But you're gonna start with your seam ripper and you're going to go ahead and seam rip the sleeves off because I do not want a long sleeve dress. So now that I've done that, I just went ahead and pinned it already. Now what you would normally do is take your dress, you would put it on yourself. If you do not have a dress form that is your size, just put the dress on yourself and just do what I did. Just take it in and pin it all the way down to pin it to where you, you know, the way you want it to look, but make sure you do that inside out. The dress is inside out. I've pinned it down to where I want it to be or need it to be. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take that to the sewing machine and sew right along where I have the pins. Now that I've done that, I'm showing you here that I tried it on, everything fit perfectly. So what I'm going to do is take my scissors and I'm going to cut off any excess fabric that I have on the dress. So I'm just taking my scissors and I'm just going to cut right down the side there, cutting off all the excess fabric that I don't need since I tried it on and it fit perfectly. Definitely make sure that you try everything on before you start cutting things away because it is much easier to seam rip things out to fix them than it is to try to add something back into the dress or shirt or whatever it is you're working on. So I'm just cleaning up some of the edges there and that will be done. Now the next thing that I'm gonna do, I have a shirt here that I bought at Gabe's. It's just a white men's button up shirt. And I'm just gonna take the cuffs off of the shirt and I'm going to use those for my sleeve. I did this on another shirt that I have and it turned out really cute. So I thought that I would do the same process for this. And of course I will use the rest of the shirt for another DIY. But right now all I need for this one are the cuffs at the ends of the sleeves here. So I'm just gonna cut those off and I'm going to just sew it on to that armhole there and that's gonna become the sleeve of my dress. So I'm just gonna take the cuff, I'm going to turn it inside out. So I'm gonna put it on top of the dress there, right sides together, and I'm going to pin it down where I need it to be. So I'm just gonna make sure it's even on both sides because it's not gonna go around the entire armhole and that's not the look I was going for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pin it down to where it needs to be, making sure both sides are even. So that's even. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my pins because I forgot them. So let me get those. And then I'm just going to start pinning it in the center and then just work my way down, pinning it down both sides and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side of the shirt. Did I say shirt? It's a dress. The other side of the dress. Okay so that's what it's going to look like when it's sewn and I'm just going to show you the dress after it's finished because after that it's going to be done. So. So there it is. That's how easy it is to take a dress that doesn't fit you and make it so that it does fit you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. I have a ton more ideas that I'm going to get out there and share with you guys. And I hope that I'm helping people to realize that you can take things that are already in your closet or things that you can buy super cheap at the store and turn them into something that's what you would want to wear. So thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.
What's up gorgeous people? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a really quick video to show you how I took this dress, which obviously does not fit me at all. <laughs> I look more like I should be a nun than someone who likes uh, fashion, you know. So 